So what I'm going to do now is I've got these little LiPo charger boards. There's actually five of them there. Should be able to <laughs> snap that off. So we just got one on its own. And connect, well put some connectors on here so we can actually charge the battery through this little charger board. And this board actually has a protection circuit on it as well. So we need a couple more of these. This one you'd normally leave permanently wired up to your battery. You wouldn't normally have a connector plug on it, but I'm going to put a connector plug on it for the purpose of this exercise because we're going to charge it that's, oh, that's just about it isn't it so battery plus battery minus we'll feed these through from the back and solder them in place So that's our charger board wired up. So I should be able to plug that into there. USB lead. So that should be charging. There is a resistor on there that you're supposed to change depending on how much current you want flowing through. I'm pretty sure it's that one just there which is R3. But I'm just going to let it run for now. I've got a metal bucket to hand to throw that in if it should happen to burst into flames. I did mention that's got protection circuit on it, but that's irrelevant from this point of view because that's to protect you over discharging the battery and that'll only work if it's in circuit and I'm not going to have this in circuit when I'm using it. it. Looks like it's just about charged. It's flicking from the red light to the blue light. not heating up. The wires aren't getting hot. None of the chips are getting hot. Gives the impression it's not entirely happy that it's finished the charging. Let's unplug it and see. See what we've got. Well, it's certainly taken charge. LiPo. What I'm going to do now is put the other connector onto the out terminals so that I can actually run that 
LiPo through the protection circuit which will be fine if we're going to put it on a boat or a car or something but I don't really want the extra weight if we're thinking of using it on an aeroplane So now we can make use of the protection circuit that's in there. So the battery is the middle tags. It then goes through whichever of those chips is the protection circuit. Comes out on that lead. So plug the battery in. And plug the motor in. And that should protect the battery from over-discharge. Job done.